Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. So today we're gonna take a look at the Eritrol 100 series valve. And I have the big boy here. This is the two inch model. And before we start talking about what we have here, I wanna mention that if you have a question about the Eritrol 100 series valve of any size, normally open, normally closed, whatever it is, please drop a comment down below so that we can address your specific question either on a future video or write in the comments and have a discussion about it. So please, if you have a question, uh, drop in the comments down below because I'm not going to be able to cover everything about this valve. So the first thing I wanna show you is just how large a two inch valve is. It weighs about five pounds, uh, super heavy duty. And what we're looking at here is a valve that has two configurations. So it is a globe valve and globe means that water can pass through, straight through, that's called globe. But it also can be set up in an angle configuration, meaning you can plumb into the valve from the bottom and a lot of times on big systems that have big valves the mainline pipe is very deep and it'll be plumbed up into the bottom and then out into the lateral line okay so a two inch valve like this is either being used for a zone valve on let's say a large football field baseball field wide open park um, or it's being used as a master valve at the water source okay so this um, you can order the 100 series or the P100 series in normally open or normally closed situations. So a, uh, a zone valve is typically normally closed, right? It requires 24 volts from the controller in order to open the valve. On a master valve, you have a choice whether you want to have the master valve normally closed and that depressurizes the main line unless a zone is running. And if a zone is running, the master valve also comes on. But you can also set your master valve up normally open, meaning this valve allows water to pass through it all the time. So you can use quick couplers, hoses, et cetera, on your main line. But if the system detects a leak or a break in the piping structure, you can close the main line. You can close the valve. So that's what a normally open valve is. And this P-series, you can order it with some tubing and you can set it up either normally open or normally close. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a master valve that has that configuration, this Eritrol 100 series is a great option. So let's see, we have our standard 24 volt solenoid here. This can be swapped out to a DC latching solenoid if you're using it on a battery system. Then you have the flow control handle on the top. I believe from the factory, it comes about halfway open. So if you wanted to turn the valve off, all you have to do is close this all the way. I'm gonna do that here real quick so you can see. That is tight, so if the flow control is turned all the way down, this valve is manually off and it can't operate. So I would start with it about halfway open because if you are running um, low flow through here, it could be slow closing. So keep that about halfway open. If you're running uh, uh, gallons per minute on the higher end of this valve, you may want to go ahead and open it up all the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, there is, I believe, a filter. I'm not gonna be able to show you, I don't think. We can try to get it inside there. There's a screen to uh, keep debris out of the diaphragm, just an internal screen. Um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the top. I'm kind of like, you know, trying to come up with some things to talk about here on this valve. Um, I would just say it's really heavy duty if you're looking for a two inch valve or a master valve, then the the one the Eritrol 100 series is awesome. This is also has a lot of the same, might even be the same mold as the Toro P220. They're very similar um, models and it might be that the Toro P220 was actually modeled after the Eritrol 100 series after Toro purchased Eritrol. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about Eritrol valves or this 100 valve, drop a comment down below. You can reach us at Sprinkler Supply Store by phone, email, chat, and even text message. So feel free to get in touch anytime if we can help you. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.